the Lincoln PowerWave S350. That's what we're talking about today. We're going to talk about basic operation and getting this thing set up for your first few days when you get in the booth. Okay? I say basic operation on this machine because these machines are an extremely sophisticated machine with capabilities far beyond what you're going to use in school. So we're going to talk about how to set it up, the program, how to get ready for it. We did do a video though on checking your end consumables, the insulators, the tips, the gun, make sure all this stuff is in line before you get started. There's another video about that. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. Today we're going to talk about basic setup for what you're going to do, the type of welding you're going to do in class here. This is MIG welding, gas metal arc welding. However, we have three different types of gas metal arc welding. Three different types of metal transfer. One is short circuit MIG welding, one is spray transfer and one is pulse spray transfer and you're going to learn them all. So we get started here. We're looking around. The wire is coming off the end feeding in like we showed you in the other video. We don't want this wire coming off from the top and doing that bend. We want a nice transition. We have our gas line. Gas line's got to go in. Turn the gas on. Boom. Power's on. Ground clamps on. We're ready to turn this puppy on and start setting it up for the weld we're going to be doing. So if you come down here and look at this interface, and just remember, these computers in these machines are very sophisticated. They take a little time. So when you first start it up and it does nothing, don't worry about it. It's going to do a couple weird blinky blinkies here. It's going to turn on and shut off. It's just booting up just like your computer because that's what it is. Now this part is the wire feeder this is the power supply. These two talk to each other constantly. But there are no adjustments on the power supply, just the on off switch. Everything is controlled with this. And we go pow, pow, pow. And these numbers are going to light up here in just a second. I was trying to time that out. We let it come up, boot up, and here's what we end up with. Now, when I say that this is a sophisticated machine, I'm not kidding. Take all these controls out of there for a moment and we're going to focus on these three. So this is our amperage or wire feed speed and your wire feed and your amperage are directly correlated. When you increase wire feed speed, your amperage goes up. It's not a one-to-one -one correlation, but when you increase wire, amperage goes up. When you decrease wire, amperage goes up. Now over here, we have a V for volts. This is our voltage, this is our amperage. This is also, when we're in pulsed MIG mode, this is our arc length. But for right now, I said these are basic video how to set this thing up, because check this out. This machine has 527 different programs to run different things. We can run nickel, we can run stainless, we can run flux core, we can run Hassel oil, we can run argon, helium, all kinds of things. So that's why we're going to just focus on the simple things right now. The basic things. So if I turn this back to one, you can see that this program is for stick welding 7018. If I turn it to the next program, just one little click, it's for stick welding 6010. I go to the next one, touch start TIG. I go to the next one, stick pipe. I just want to keep running through these things until I find what I'm looking for. Now you're going to get this information from your welding procedure and your blueprint and your instructor too. It's going to tell you the size wire, the type of gas, and then you need to pick the program to match that. So the first thing you want to do is decide what kind of wire you have. All the wires have a label on them right here. This is solid MIG wire E70S-6 and it is 035. I can see it right on the tag. Now we run 035 and 045. You have to make sure that you select the program that correlates with the size wire that you're running. The gas I chose 7525. That's mostly the gas that we use. But if you look on here, if I go to another program, this is exactly the same thing. We're welding steel with 035 wire, constant voltage, but it says CO2. That means program 10 uses CO2 to do short circuit MIG welding on steel. 
If I click it one more, now we're welding steel, 035, constant voltage with an argon mix. And that's what I plugged into. I plugged into a 75% argon, 25% CO2. So that's the program that I want to run. You want to be very careful when you're selecting this and make sure that the gas and the wire correlate with the program because if I go just one more, now I'm running a pulse argon mix with 035 steel. So it's sometimes confusing. You got to really pay attention. Or I can go one more and it's a rapid arc with 035. Or I can go a couple of them up and we're at the same thing. Steel, CO2, or steel argon mix. But look, the 045 changed. It went from 35 to 45. If you're trying to weld with 45 thousandths wire and you have the program set on 35 thousandths wire, it is not going to work very well. So the first thing you want to do when you get in here is check your procedure, check your print, make sure that the wire and the gas are what you are selecting the program on. Now one more thing. This is our wire feed speed, this is our voltage. If we look at this, we can turn voltage up and down. This red line that's jumping up is telling us the machine's saying you're a little bit low. That's a little bit low for a suggested of how much wire feed speed we're running. If I turn it too high, it's saying it's a little bit too high. You can adjust these yourself to make the machine run good, but we want to set this thing up to where it's sitting in the middle. The only other thing I really want to show you is when I increase my amperage or my wire feed speed, same thing, Watch what happens to the voltage. So what this is called is a synergic control. We're controlling one and the machine is automatically raising the other one and we can just keep going with this thing. We can go, oh, this machine is capable of 815 inches a minute of wire and 32 volts. We're going to bring this thing back down to a normal starting area, which is usually about, for short circuit welding, 17 to 20 volts and 220, 230, 250 inches per minute. That's a good place to start. Now, when you change to pulsed MIG, we change the dial. And if we look here, now this says 035 steel pulsed argon mix. However, that argon mix that you need to do that pulse welding is different than the argon mix that we have on there. And that will say that on your procedure. The machine is pretty simple. Trust me, your instructor can take you deep into this machine and all kinds of things that it's capable of doing. But for you right now just getting started, short circuit, steel, we're going to come to program 11. We're going to start, you know, somewhere in the 18 to 20 volts in the 230 to 250 inches per minute. 7525 gas, unless your procedure otherwise specifies which gas. And that is a really good starting spot for the basic operation of the S350 Lincoln.